We are satisfied now because we have a guarantee from government that they'll, we, they wouldn't stop us from buying fish anymore, right? So the document has been signed and I think we are quite satisfied with that. Just after midday on Friday, Guap fishermen satisfied that Minister for Fisheries, Yolan Bain Hartford, had assured them that an approved document needed for them to export their fish was signed. The men removed debris heaped on the main road that forced motorists to divert for almost half the day. Fishermen say this action was not planned, just felt that was their only way to demand attention to their plight. They do not want to give these people pass to sell the fish to help on we poor people. So how they expect we poor people to eat? We have fishermen that owe for the boat and the engine up to today. And we cannot get the fish sale to pay with loan. We cannot feed with family. How you expect us to live? We have to protest. And we're protesting in a peaceful way. The protest comes days after GBN highlighted issues fishermen in St. George reported and a subsequent meeting between fishermen, government officials and exporters. The problem at hand is that exporters are refusing to take fish from the small boats for export. The reason given is poor quality. Mr. James had a bad ship that was issued three weeks ago. Right? And he lost $98,000. Right? And I asked Mr. James on the meeting last Tuesday that why is only when March or April month fishermen have that issue with it? And here you have Gene X created a, a, an avenue for fishermen to export the fish and every time we give a date to start, something comes up. The fisheries minister sought to bring calm and resolution to the matter by informing them that the document they sought to proceed with their sale of fish was signed. So, but let me go back a little bit so you could understand. I want your fishermen, to, fisher ladies and men to understand what is going on. There was no need for that this morning. Because I have always opened my door. When you're doing something like that does not um, create that impact with me. It, you know, it, it makes things worse. Let me tell you something. Parliamentary Representative Alvin Dabrio was in attendance at the meeting. One fish vendor says while she supports the fishermen, she disagrees with their decision to block the main road. I don't vex with whatsoever they have done there. But the thing is they should have put it in front there because the thing is the boss men and them don't buy fish to sell and the passenger have to pass. Desmond Gill who says he's one of the key members of the fishing industry says while there are some genuine concerns there's also a bit of politics at play. There is people what is using the cooperative as the political agenda to use to fight against the government. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News.